Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button and bell so you'll be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. So like I said in today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things I would like to get into when we're talking about this situation with D.L. Hughley, Kamala Harris, VP Kamala Harris, my bad, and also Janet Jackson. Now listen, uh, it is being alleged that a whole bunch of things are going on and a whole bunch of questions are being asked when it comes to Kamala Harris. Now, ever since she didn't hit the scene and became VP, People have been asking about her nationality, questioning where she comes from, and allegedly she comes from my place, Oakland, California. But people have been questioning, you know, who's allegedly black in your family? Like, where do you get that black from? Like, what what is your nationality? And not only have regular folks been asking, a lot of celebrities have been asking. And allegedly, D.L. Hughley at one point in time had made, you know, some reference to her nationality and had to apologize for it at the DNC is what they are saying. Mm -hmm. More recently, we've had Janet Jackson uh, get called out to play because allegedly she has, you know, called out Kamala and is asking, like, basically, how are you black? Where does that play in? And she has also issued an apology. Now, a lot of people are saying that Janet Jackson doesn't watch TV. She doesn't watch the news. She didn't know. She didn't know. She didn't know. Same people were saying the same thing damn near when it came to D.O. Hughley and when he had to issue his apology at the alleged DNC. This is what I will say. A lot of people have been saying this. Hell, I even said this at one point. Like, where is this coming from? But I understand where the lines get crossed because at the end of the day, you can be having this conversation with your friends. You can be having this conversation in-house. I think ain't nothing wrong with that. But when you go out publicly and say something like this, you're putting yourself on a public platform and you're publicly putting information in the public. So the public, of course, is going to come back and say something to you. Then we're going to say that's going to be a nicer, you know, mean is up to how the public is feeling in much way. And honestly, the public includes everybody and that includes other celebrities. So D.L. Hughley sure did chime into this conversation and he had plenty to say. He wanted to question and he said that he has been questioning you know, Janet Jackson, you talk about, you know, questioning other people about their nationality and about them being black and where does this black man at? But you're allegedly black and you're walking around with a white nose is what he tweeted in those, you know, in his own words. But that's to sum it up. He also said that Kamala Harris looks the same as when she was in Oakland years ago. He said that you do not look the same when you played Penny years ago. And I get it. Like, some people do go have work did and stuff like that, but I don't know. It's it's kind of tricky, especially when it comes to people like the Jacksons, of all people talking about race and stuff like that, when it seems like you guys have tried so hard. And when I say you guys, I do mean the Jacksons. Uh, Michael, rest his soul, but Michael, um, Janet, uh, LaToya, uh, Tito, Jermaine. All, like, listen, the list with the Jacksons, especially those first three that I named and stuff like that, they really did go, it seems like, all out to make themselves not look as African-American as they possibly could. So I understand when people like D.O. Hughley is coming out and saying things. Now, do I think that D.O. Hughley has the right to chime in and to judge? No, not necessarily, because of the things that have gone on with him. We all remember when, you know, um, Monique came on out here and was talking about him and him and her not cool and stuff like that anymore because she made, you know, she basically put him on blast with you allowing your friend to have done things inappropriately with your child. And when your child came and told you about this and wanted you to do something about this, you didn't do anything about it. You still decided to be this man's friend. And then said that years had passed. So it's like, I don't know. It's like you really got to pick and choose what you say and when you're chiming into conversations because this conversation can go any way. Like I said, I understand where he's coming from. Like, well, you look like this. But there's a whole bunch of people that say, well, deal, you're Asian like an old, you know, Caucasian woman, which I think is 
funny. I thought it was pretty, pretty freaking funny, especially in the new picture that they have of him. But basically, there's a way to ask questions and there's a way to come at people if you guys really want to figure out what somebody's nationality is. And at the end of the day, I think that both parties and I think that a lot of us like who say things like me, I don't really be looking at people like me because I'm like, nobody knows who the hell we are. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not big like like Janet Jackson and people like that. But when I, and it's it's not right, but it's like, I can see myself talking to y'all about this and being like, do y'all think that she black and black? And we can go back and forth in Converse in the comment section or whatever the case may be. But I think that when you're on a bigger platform, like how Janet Jackson and even the DLU do, I think that more people hear you and more people are interpreted, you know, any type of way they want to. So it leaves it up in the air like, so wait a minute, when you were talking about this, how did you mean it? Because, you know, I'm reading these comments or I'm hearing X, Y, and Z say X, Y, and Z, and it's not adding up. People People can totally take your stuff and put it out, but it's obvious that he was straightforward with what he needed to say about her judging others about their race, especially when it seems like the Jacksons have been trying to change. And I can't lie, all the main ones have been trying to change. Like, let's just keep it a book. They have been trying to change. They are lighter. Um, I don't care about the wigs. I don't care about the hair, really, nothing like that. But, like, the appearance, like, with the, the nose and stuff like that, all of them have had that. And her and Michael looked at exactly like twins. Like, they were back-to-back -back with the surgeons. And even Latoya, like, her nose still looked skeletory, too. Like, it can pop off at any time. Like, that's what it looks like. They all, them three, I can say for sure, was for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I totally get it. But sometimes it would be the right message just with the wrong messenger. And a lot of times, especially these days, we've been having a lot of the wrong damn messengers send these messages. So, people are like, if you got the wrong messenger, you can kind of skip past the message and not even really pay attention to it because you're so focused on who the hell is opening their mouth and talking about the message. Certain people just got to learn how to shut the hell up and stay off of the internet. Now, a lot of people have come out and recently just started getting at DL because he did make a post on his page just recently, a few minutes ago. And the people are getting at him like, you owe Janet Jackson an apology. She was wrong. She apologized. Why are you being a man hopping into these matters? And it's always going to be something like this. I think that when a man says something about a woman, these people in the comment section are always going to come out and be like, you're a man. You shouldn't be saying that. Now, I do agree to the extent of how far he went with the, the comments that he said and the tweets that he did put up. It was a little too much. He could have just kept it with his first comment and then just left it alone. Or he could have just not said anything at all and just let her say what she said and then issue an apology. And he could have just stayed out of it. But a lot of people are getting at him. And like I said, people are getting at him most definitely for not even, you know, having that same energy when it came to his daughter. And people are saying, you have all this energy for this woman. And Janet Jackson, why don't you say the same thing to Trump or to somebody else? Get on them. Y'all drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video respectfully.